For this job, I got a 10 millimeter wrench, 12 millimeter wrench, my laser chain alignment tool, torque wrench, 36 millimeter socket, and a tape measure. Before you get started, throw your bike on a rear stand. That way the weight of the bike is still on the swing arm, which simulates the way the bike's still on the tire. That way you get the most accurate reading when you're adjusting your chain. If you were to lift the bike on the center stand, it would drop the rear arm down and that will change the tension on the chain while you're checking it. So this simulates that the bike is sitting on the ground and you'll have the most accurate reading. For this video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust your chain and check your rear wheel alignment. Step one, loosen your axle nut. You don't need to take it all the way off. Loosen your lock nuts. We can see the chain is too loose. So we're gonna back these bolts out on both sides equally for a reference the bike has notches on the swing arm. So you wanna make sure the notches on the left match the notches on the right. This one is showing three and about a halfway to the next notch. And I'll just make sure the right side is the same as well. So I'll back this screw out. I like to do 90 degree increments. So one, two, Check it, do the other side. One. Two. We're gonna look at these marks, make sure that they look the same on both sides. I don't fully trust these marks from the factory, so I'm gonna show you a more accurate way to check your rear axle alignment. Now that I've backed both sides out, um, a couple 90 degree turns, I'm gonna check the tension here. This is a Suzuki, so when you tighten the axle on the Suzukis, they tend to bring the axle back a little bit because there's a lot of play in this plate right here. So I tend to tighten the axle, check tension, and then check alignment. You can see the chain getting tighter if you look closely. You want to set your axle nut torque to your factory specs. Now that that axle is torqued down, check the tension. You want about an inch to inch and a quarter of play. So from up here, we're at about three quarters of an inch. Comes all the way down to one and three quarters of an inch. And that looks good right there. To check the alignment, I use a laser tool. This one's called Profi, P-R-O-F-I, Laser Cat. And I'll show you how to use that. Place the laser tool flush on the sprocket. Now we're gonna rotate the wheel and watch as the laser dot moves along the, the chain. And you wanna make sure that it's not misaligned. So you wanna make sure it rides on the exact same spot from here all the way forward. Probably usually along the inner plate, sometimes right along where the O-rings are. But you wanna make sure that dot rides right along the chain in the exact same spot all the way forward, all the way back. And that's how you'll know that the rear axle wheel is aligned perfectly. This is showing perfect. It's riding right on the inside of the inner plate all the way forward. Might be kind of hard to see. Last step will be to tighten this lock nut right here. So I hold this bolt with a 10 millimeter wrench on this bike, tighten the 12 millimeter nut, 
get it snug, not too tight. And that's how you prevent these from moving so that your axle doesn't move under load or by itself. <sighs> that asshole every day. After these are all tight, double check your torque and your axle and you're all set.